<laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, today we are finally checking out the last diary of a wimpy kid, Bill, Dog Days. And Roderick Rules, which is officially the most goated movie of all time, was so good. Hopefully this one is even 50% as good and I'll be happy. So, let's not wait. We jump straight into it. Zooey Mama. Let's have a Zooey Mama counter. I don't think they're gonna say it, actually. I really don't. I can't believe it's so crowded here. Maybe we should come back. Uh-oh, his voice got deeper. It's happened. <laughs> Keep going in there. Yeah, this ain't Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is Diary of a Wimpy Man at this point. Look at it. He looks like he's aged six years. How many years has it been since the last? <laughs> no, but it's always funny when you go into a men's locker room for the first time. Men above the age of 35 are shameless. Ass crack, balls hanging, don't care. Danny? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Wait, are we sure this isn't like his sexual awakening? Maybe this is what this scene is. Manny, no! Want to see my hands? You're an idiot. What are you doing? Give us a whiff. Why, why are you keep playing this crap game? Oh, good idea. I definitely didn't do this as a child. <laughs> Uh, until someone nukes on his head. You can't play your music that loud. Yeah, Roderick. Come on. Empty that diaper. Oh, you changed. Oh, yes, I've been going to Speg Union Prep School. Yeah, you seem like a right prat. You hear me? <laughs> what an epic prank. Oh, good God, Roderick. He looked awful there. Eighth grade, sir. You're going into the eighth grade. He looks like he's going into, I don't know, university. Oh, hey, ladies. A lot of diaper, just, you know, needs changing. Oh, little lad. That kid swole, what the hell? <laughs> oh, wait, is he weeing? What's so funny? I'm weeing. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. <laughs> Come in the piss pool. So I don't think it's that big of a deal pissing in a pool. I do it all the time. Who gives a f who gives a f like, I mean, sorry. <laughs> hey, it's just, f what's what it's for? I have one more week of school and then a summer vacation. Again, you look like you just started a business. Like you're so old. The truth is I've always been more of an indoor person. You see, I was like that when I was younger, but now I just get so depressed being inside all the time. Me and my dad have absolutely nothing in common. Your brain is just fried. Your dopamine receptors, like they just are. We all like video games, right? But no one really feels like the same level of satisfaction than doing something outside with friends or family. I'm just sad. Sad? And the goat's here now, the goat's here. Video games all summer and it's gonna be awesome. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Hey guys. Hi, Hope. Okay, she looks like she hasn't aged a day. A lot can happen in three months. How was your summer? I got married. <laughs> to Frigley. Shirog. Oh. <laughs> Shirog. Mr. Gupta. Oh, he's the Rizzler. I thought it was going to be Frigley. The last day of school. Like anyone brought their books. To be fair, though. Share my book with Greg Hefley. How much do I bet that book is just covered in <laughs> um, liquids? Oh, I hate people with the custom stamps. Oh, bugger off. I guess in American schools, if there's no uniform, right? You can't do like signing clothes. Cause in the UK we do that. If you've got uniform, everyone signs like the back of your shirt or front, whatever. I get her to sign my yearbook. I'll ask her to write her phone number too. Oh my God. It's a good idea. Hey Holly. So- Dude, he looks like he's in so much pain. Come up to talk to her. Imagine I come up to talk to you. I was like, hi. Uh, I'm, Greg's I'm... gonna get to the end of Twisted Wizard 2 this summer. Is that a euphemism? Why don't you put your phone number down too? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Who drags their friends away though? Come on. It just doesn't happen. Oh my god. Wait, how many numbers are left? No! No, mommy! No! <laughs> Is this a real thing? I don't know. I was at a fairly small secondary school. 60 people in the year, max. Would you sign my yearbook, Holly? Of course. Oh, you little rat, Rowley. Look how cute he is. That oh, I can't stay mad at you. I'm sorry, Rowley. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> 
<laughs> what the flip? Who the frick did that? Yeah, I remembered. No, that's actually funny though. <laughs> Get in. Oh my god, she's so hot. The popular girl. So, Heather, you know I'm going on a world tour with my thing. Oh god, she hates him. Ow! Ow! I'm trying to act cool. Okay, but like, how does he not get all the girls? That's a bit unrealistic. Stay cool, XOXO Holly. <laughs> XOXO Rowley. Oh my god, imagine. You're such a good friend. <laughs> oh, friend. I mentioned a bit friendly at the end. That's the kiss of death, friend. Yeah, but you're not doing much better, so pipe down. One, to play video games, to get together with Holly, both at the same time. But that's the one those perfect dreams that just never happened, you know? To be honest, when I was that age, right, I was like, oh, I really want someone to play games with. It didn't really happen until we found that a year ago, if I, you know, for the first time. But it's just, it was my dream. <laughs> I can't find Manny's tingy. Time for him to move on from that ratty old blanket anyway. It's always important to keep something that you were born with. I've still got my teddy, my little rabbit I was given when I was born. Somewhere in this room. We both hate it, but we can't stop reading it. You're my BFF. <laughs> Best father forever. Well, that's crap. We need to find Manny's tingy. <sighs> Ooh! He checked the wrong hand. <laughs> A bit suspicious. Definitely gaming all day. Oh my god, we got the clock. We got the Cokes and Crisps. It's gaming time. Who sits on the floor in games? Dude, that is the most uncomfortable thing in the world. Greg. Greg. Are you going to sit inside all day and play video games? And please play the worst game in the world. I'm sorry. One of those twisted wizards. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. To me at my worst, oh my god. I'd play like Ark Survival Evolved for like 12 hours a day. No, 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 not at least like 17 hours. No, 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 one more set. Just like an extremely long time. I'd wake up, play it, and then go to bed at like 3 a.m. Still playing it. Good fun, to be fair. But you know you've kind of messed up the day when you're about to go to bed and you hear someone waking up. Oh my god, that's the worst feeling in the world. Are you... Sweating? Yeah, just finished up some sports. <laughs> some sports. Playing on myself. And he still hasn't gotten over losing his tingy. I think you should really move on. Really. <laughs> oh, he found it. Oh, he's all happy. He found his teeny. End up in the... Frank? <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna lie, he took it back. Yeah. You're now a level nine necromancer. Oh, a level nine necromancer. I've been playing sports. No more video games for the rest of the summer. What? Because we played it today. And no television for the rest of the summer. Does that make you laugh out loud? Ha! Dads think they've done something by doing that. It just makes you hate them. But that's not the way to do it. Go to the basement to work on my battle diorama. And he's playing with his bloody toys, the same thing, kinda. Yeah, I know it's not as like dopamine frying, but. What are we gonna do? Play a Twisted Warlock the rest of the day? Uh, it's just say a it, wizard. But we have absolutely nothing in common. Hanging out together is no fun for either of us. Sorry, which parents have these conversations in front of children? I've literally never overheard my parents talking about us. They're so secretive about it. And they're literally in the hallway. Be the father you wish your father had been. And no one says that either. I should put in more time. That didn't sound good. What do you mean? That's good. Come on, Saturday. <laughs> Imagine you were straight jacking it. Oh my god. That's what it's all about. You and me spending some quality time together. Isn't that just what you want to do, though? That's not what he wants to do. Dad would be like, yeah, that's, uh, you know, go watch F1 or fishing or go to the football. It's just that they want to go. As bad as this was, my mom's idea of a good summer activity was reading is fun. <laughs> of the reading is fun club. <laughs> Got your rag here. Share the books you all brought. Me and my mommy. <laughs> How about I go get some real books? 1984? Uh, David Goggins can't hurt me? What else we got? Thank you so much, Gregory, for making the summer a time to study. Look, shut up and drink your milk, all right? You should come with me to the country club one day. Wait, the caravan club? Well, it's like hella clunge. <laughs> Let's get this party. Little wh <sighs> Why don't I call every number that it could be until eventually I get the right one? How much is the phone bill gonna be? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> so far, this is shaping up to be the worst summer ever. Calm down, it's like day three. <laughs> Amelia, 
music for the Battle of Philippi! <laughs> <laughs> ah! No, pardon me, that'd be so cool if my dad did that. That'd be the most effort I've ever seen a dad do in my life. Dressed up as soldiers running around in muddy fields. Well, that's a bit strange, but the effort counts. This is the equivalent of playing on a Gmod RP server for dads. We hold the element of surprise. <laughs> no! No, we didn't get it! <laughs> Wait, there's full on gunfire. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Get him, shoot him! I'd actually love to take part in that. I have so much fun! Up! 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 Spag Union. Spaghetti. Hello, Mrs. Jefferson. Crowded today? Uh, who can afford this? Amy wasn't kidding. It is crowded today. What? Is this what Rowley's, like, billions can get? Crowded? <laughs> This just means have money. This, this is all this is saying right now. Rowley has that cute privilege. I guess I do like being outside. Yeah, when you have money. Holly Hills, she's always here. She's a member. Why didn't you mention it? The thing is though, once he has this standard of living, he won't want to go back to normal. Hey guys, I thought you were going to call me. <laughs> you didn't give me your stupid number, you bitch. But uh, then I realized I I'd see you here. Why didn't you just say you didn't give me your number? <laughs> We're all about tennis. We should play sometime. I've, I've never played. That'd be great. We'd love to play. You've literally never played. You're gonna lose to her. And that's how you improve your summer. Oh, give it a rest, did you? <laughs> it's offering a summer internship. And I signed you up for it. What's an internship? Well, why didn't you even ask first? But you have your own responsibilities. It's like a job. Do I get paid? No. <laughs> that's crap. It sounds really great. It's just that I already got a job. At the country club? Really? You actually got a job? Tell him I can't do it. Fantastic! So for how proud of him would you be that he got a job on his own without even asking him to get a job? But now he's the liar, so. Thing is, now I'm kind of busy, like, making videos most of the time. I can't imagine the whole summer, like, not doing anything. But I know back in the day, I loved it. Every day, you can just play video games or you'll be so happy, really. <laughs> With me, Wait, why have you got the oldest racket in the world? I think we should tell her that we've never played tennis. We played Ultimate Tennis on the Wii. Oh, it's basically the, oh, it's the same thing. We've played Sonic the Olympics tennis. Oh my God, it's the beast. Oh, she must slay. We start with a rally? What's a rally? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, what's a Rowley? Patty and me versus you two. Okay. Oh, they won't even know how to serve or anything. Ask them what a tram line is. Ah! Okay, well, first of all, that serve wasn't even in, you stupid bitch. 15, love. No, the, no, 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 it's, it's actually second serve. Ah! Ah! 30, love. No, it's not. Do you know what these rules are? These people don't even know how to play. I mean, technically, if you hit someone, though, that it does count. Tennis is one of those games, though, that you don't want to play with someone who's inexperienced because you spend the whole time running after the ball. So in, like, badminton, pretty much anyone can at least hit it, so... Take it, yes, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Either of you ever actually played tennis before? Well, it seems you haven't either, so... Tennis on the Wii. <laughs> Maybe I could give you a few pointers. No, you don't know anything. How about you get him a normal racket? Ugh. We have to go. It's an emergency. The printer messed up the invitations for my sweet 16. 16? She's not even 16? What rubbish. She looks like 24. Drive me home later? Come back for you? No, it's like 10 minutes away. Wait, she said sweet 16, but she drives. What? You're 15 and you drive? Well, sorry, sorry, that is the, what is this film? Can people drive at 15 in America? Every 4th of July, our neighbors, the Warrens, throw a big party for the whole block. Mom and dad make us all go. Thing is, I think if someone did this without the UK flag, someone would immediately call them a racist. You know, you can't be patriotic about UK without being like a bald pub goer or something. You know what, my boys, it's uh, go, go, go. <laughs> same with my boys. Yeah, same here, man. You should join the Wilderness Explorers. I'm more of an indoor person. Everybody wants to join the best of the best. <laughs> the, be <laughs> the best of the best? What are you talking about? Never be too young to learn responsibility. You should get your boys a dog, Frank. What? No, that's just putting a burden on the family, honestly. Like, I love dogs, but like, ugh. Alios is a member, so being at the country club means I can hang out with her. Whoa, whoa! I mean, Heather Hills is there too. But if she's 15, how old are you? <laughs> She did, she said sweet 16. Doesn't Roger like 18? A new member of the Hathaway family! 
Why would you get a big dog off the bat? Because more of a family decision. <laughs> Wait, call him Shredder. People don't think, listen, if you want a dog, fine. But realize it's a 10 plus year thing. Spend thousands of hours, countless dollars over. People are just like, oh, I want a dog, bang. Don't even think. I always thought I wanted a dog. But I'm thinking right, yeah, like everyone wants just the cuddles, but nothing else. Jake. Here you go. <sighs> Sweaty? <laughs> Sweaty! Pretty sure it spells sweetie, Dad. <laughs> you got schooled by Rodrigue. Dad connected with his old troop master. As your father knows. Are you sure this isn't like a Freemason lodge? I mean, I did see the number on the door. Only the very best get to be part of this troop. Great to be back here, troop master. Then why's Fregley here? And Shirag's here. This is the bottom of the barrel. Marco! Polo! Marco! Marco. Polo! <laughs> Poor Rowley. Marco! Where'd you go? <laughs> That's a bit rude. Poor Rowley. Hello, Governor. Top of the crumpeteer. Woo. Where's the nearest flu? Me. Bit racist, God. Marco! Polo! Wow, you can hold your breath a really long time. <laughs> What's Roderick doing here? I got invaded. <sighs> Wait, what? You got a diaper tattoo? A lot of things you don't know about me, Greggy. The Rapido? I didn't want to get fired from my fake job. He didn't listen. <laughs> Roderick when he sees 15 year old. <laughs> oh god. Unfortunately, he came up with it himself. Do you feel, I've literally been him, right? You see someone who's like a lifeguard and you're like, you're trying to swim like, oh god, it's so awkward and cringe. Well Oh look, I'm drowning, hey! The only reason that I'm sitting here in this ridiculous outfit. I mean, you look pretty good, but. Wait, oh, wait, she's 15, yeah. Ah! What the? What is happening? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, now he's the pedo! What is it with these pedos? You know, he loved every minute of that. Your father and I have something that we want to give you your own cell phone. Are you serious? Wow. A home number and 911. I do remember when I got my first phone. Wait, which phone was it? I don't actually know what it, which one was my first, but I guess it would be fifth grade for you Americans, year six. Can't wait to ride the cranium shaker. Cranium shaker? <laughs> You're too funny, Greg. Wait, where are we going? Are we going to like Matt's land or something? Milk on the wall, 5,000 5, bottles, bottles of milk. milk. Take one down, pass it around. 4,999 bottles of milk on the wall. I'll blow my brains out. 16 bottles of milk on the wall. 16 bottles of milk. <laughs> Rowley plays it so good though. Oh, he's the best actor in the world. Unless he's just being himself. Why don't we play I Love You Because? Yay! I'll start. Oh, I've never wanted to murder a whole family so much. I love you because you're silly and you make me laugh. Oh my god, where's my knife? Uz! I love you because you help me keep my body clean. What? What'd you say? She washes you? Your turn, Greg. Oh my god, don't be his dad. <laughs> Your mustache is... Awesome. Be because... Oh, he's gonna cry. Quieter over at the amusement park. Who wants ice cream? Yay! Strawberry! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Thing is, that looks like a lot of ice cream, but I can eat a whole tub, no problem. Wait, what? We're sharing it? Oh, piss right off. Ugh, why'd you- You're a creep. Who licks it like that? We'll come back later when the line goes down. No, we need the Kesha. No, but do they not understand maths? If they had to be back in an hour, it was an hour and 20 minute queue. If you come back in 40 minutes, <laughs> it's gonna be just 40 minutes less. There's no line of the cranium shaker. I mean, maths. There's maths for you. I did promise my mom we wouldn't go on any scary ride. I'll be a bad boy for once, come on. Went on this ride and got decapitated. What? No way. Way. The car came down and his head wasn't in it. His cranium was shook off. When you guys get to the top, make sure not to rock the car back and forth. <laughs> oh, shut up. They just say that to make him scared. I would have so much fun working at a place like this. Because you wouldn't tell him when they're going to go, Oh, have you seen those videos where they pretend it's like malfunctioning and they send them off? Excuse me, don't make it. There's something I have to tell you. Huh? One time, I went to the bathroom and I didn't wash my hands. <laughs> ah, oh my god. You're for prison. You are 
were supposed to meet us an hour ago. We're very disappointed in you, Rowley. <laughs> Rowley! His cranium has been jogged around. They let us off easy. Why are you upset? That's not easy. His mum's disappointed. That's bad. <sighs> <laughs> Who does that? I guess we're bunk mates. Hope you don't snore. Bunk mates? That's not a bunk bed. <sighs> Wait, are they in the same bed? Imagine Rowley's ass oh, just breaking wind right next to you. Oh god, he's like under him. Rowley has like 20 Brussels sprouts before bed. <laughs> Look at the feet! 8.34? 8.34 p.m. Who remembers those sleepless nights as a child though? Like the anxiety you get when you can't fall asleep. Wait, what are you doing? Crazy. Send. Oh my god, you emailed that to like 700 people. Are the police and the army going to turn up? I have 949 emails. I've got like 30,000. <laughs> Let me check. Let me check how many I got. Wait, hold up. 39,936. So... That's rocky numbers, honestly. Do you have anything you'd like to tell us, Greg? <laughs> He's got a knife. Don't say anything. Can I help He's got a knife! He's got a knife! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I don't think they just cuffed him. Did you see that? Oh. <laughs> so that wasn't actually Greg's fault. He held a knife at the door. <laughs> this really is the dog days. No, this isn't actually as bad as I thought. I'd heard from some people this film's crap. It's actually just as good. Going for the country club? I'm not going to the country club today. Oh, he's lying. He's going on his own. Can you blame Rowley though? Hey. Aren't you gonna say hello? How rude of me. <laughs> Sorry, but does anyone else get really awkward? Like, every time I go to the gym at the reception and I see whoever's on it, oh, it's just such, so awkward. Cause you got, you walk straight to the desk, they see you walking in and you always ask the same thing. Yeah, can I get a towel please? And they act like, oh, it's just, so I'm making it seem like some insane problem. My, my parents don't want me to invite you anymore. I thought if I lied then I wouldn't hurt your feelings. No, it's all right, I understand. Greg is horrible. <laughs> it's Wadwick. Don't tell me he puts it on top of the- That was a zesty dive. What was the need for that? It was impressive. <laughs> that was impressive. I think if you dive, she's gonna be asleep and not see it, not gonna lie. Or you land in the pool, lose the trunks Mr. Bean style. And then maybe she'll say, that's impressive, but I doubt it. <laughs> Oh wait, don't tell me it's the girl who said poop. I think it is. Are you talking to yourself? I recognize her. It is, it's the poop girl. <laughs> then go. <laughs> oh my God, the trunks, they did rip. Don't tell me they're still up there. Right. What was that ripping sound then? I don't understand. What would you do that? Oh my god! I was about to go get ice cream. You want to join me? I'm trying to lose a couple of pounds. You'd have to just own up straight away. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god! <laughs> the goggles! No! Good god! Because they think you're doing something in a bit. No choice but to splash around all day, avoiding people. Oh, no, you did have a choice. Sorry, can you get my trunk? Some child just threw them over there. Why does it make it seem like the world's gonna end? Rowley! Wait! No, Rowley! <laughs> She was waiting for the trunks the whole time. Have you got nothing better to do for five hours? A fake job is making things much easier with that. Can you make me hiccups hit down? That's kind of funny. That's like Zooey Mama. Can we please hear a Zooey Mama? Is it that much to ask, please, for me? Oh, he's got Teeny. Dad. Who's gonna get- No, oh, that's a cute dog, actually. <laughs> It's only a dog, calm down. <laughs> What's it covering up for? <laughs> yeah, sweetie. Good idea, good idea. Good, good, good. Run it! <laughs> sweetie! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called sweetie anyway? <laughs> you are dead. Ugh. That looks disgusting. Ugh, that's worse than the cheese touch. Courage, you go clean the house, I'll clean the room! Clean the roast? Why does no why is no one honest in this family? The boys have barely touched your pot roast. More for us then. 
But this pot roast is unbelievable. <laughs> Chef secret. No, oh, Bubby. Oh, Bubby. This is getting out of control. I think you have a line problem. We didn't even talk today. How do you keep getting in here without me? You're not a member? Oh, she thinks he's a peasant now. But why would you sneak in? Because we can't get in and we want to come here. The DJ from Race 16 just canceled because he's flying to Africa to help build a hospital. Now what am I supposed to do for music? She's just not 15. She's just not. Have you heard of the band Loaded Diaper? They're awesome. They're just coming off a major world tour. I feel like Holly's like 15. I know all her sister's supposed to be 15. Does that make Holly like 10? Where have you been? You're gonna owe me for the rest of your life. Playing at Heather Hills Sweet 16. Really? Wait, really? You never told me she was 15? What the hell? Thing is, you know, it's gonna be so bad. Loaded diaper activate. Loaded <laughs> diaper activate. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be a good show. The best. No, oh, Rowley walks around like he has no cares in the world. I'm a liar. You can never trust me again. No, but you know what Greg did to you in the first film was like a thousand times worse than what Hitler did, right? <laughs> this bill is five times the normal amount. Your son has been ordering a lot of smoothies this month. Oh God. There he is now. Oh, that's not- That's Roland Crapper. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, Rally. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Forget your sunblock. Frank Heffley. Been racking up a lot of charges on my account. What are you talking about? He no. works here. Tell him. We don't employ minors. Do you not work here? That's so painful, the disappointment. The guilt and shame you'd feel. Sorry, Dad, jeez. $260 worth of smoothies? What were you thinking? How many smoothies is that? <laughs> like 80? I'll pay. Very good, sir. That's that level of shame that you know when you've done something wrong, you know, to anyone or anything, you just don't even want to show your face, you're just like, Oh god, you know, hide in your room forever and die. <sighs> We've got some serious trouble. Not you. You see, he's doing exactly what I would do. Look what I found in the mail. Oh my god, no. Disciplinary school? We're not going to spag school. World in which your boy will learn to thrive. Here, we will impress upon him our three cornerstones to- These schools never work though. I guarantee there's more drug dealers in a school like that than a normal one. I used to play a lot of video games. I was playing all the time, sometimes two hours a day. Two hours? Oh my god! What the hell? You're a crack addict! That union taught me that there's more adventure to be found in a good book. Shut up. I mean, to be fair, I do have more fun reading books, but manga. I read manga in the shower on a Kindle. I'm so cool and quirky. Bad union! I'll piss off. Bunch of gays. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a soggy biscuit. 48 hours to prove to dad that you don't need Spag Union. The end of the beginning. Now dad takes it a bit far though. He's like, the first thing, the first time something bad happens, he quickly jumps to the worst punishment. So there's no time to even learn from the mistake. I don't think that's good parenting, but obviously I wouldn't know. We're filled with make believe. Like, why is his dad sulky? Grow up, you know? Yeah, grow up. Get over it. Is it solid? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What the hell? Well, I say the best way to lay claim to a camp is to put tents on it. Explorers! Install camp! Oh, wait, they're gonna come rolling in and build it in three seconds. Sorry, Frank. Doesn't look like there's any more room for troops here. Look, you work with children, all right? We all know why. This is your job. You all know the story of the muddy hand, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the muddy hand. <laughs> well, you guys know that story, right? I mean, if you consider the old woodsman chopping off his own hand was nothing, well, why would they do that when they were trying to camp the boys? Got <laughs> Gupta. Gupta's the goat. All that was left was his hand. <gasps> it's muddy. This might be scarier than the foot. Looking for more wilderness explorers. Oh, Rowley. Revenge. <laughs> Rowley. Imagine a Rowley reaction channel. Oh my god, just imagine the potential, dude. Oh my Jesus! You can't beat the classics. <laughs> this is Campsite 42. We're gonna wait till they're not looking, and we're gonna weave a web between these trees. And we're gonna make the web super sticky. How are you gonna do that? <laughs> Revenge will be ours. I don't know if it will quite go to plan like that. I mean, if you got a Gupta... You see the signal if anything happens. How did you get the ant so easily? So how do they not see them putting up this rope and honey? They're right behind them. A refrigerator? Ready-made meals? <gasps> and a TV? Frauds! This is glamping. Get them! Raccoons. <laughs> I knew he'd say that. <laughs> 
Hey, little guy. New fur hat. Oh my god, the ants. No. <laughs> Please tell me you left the ants in there. Store-bought s'mores maker? Pre-tied knots, Stan. You're a phony. Yeah, you're a phony, bruh. Mr. Warren was completely abandoned by his wilderness explorer troop. These days, he runs a badminton league, kindergartners. I told you we knew why he was in the scouts. Honestly though, nothing will beat Roderick rules, but this is, is good fun. Because of how fun the first two films were, you're gonna enjoy it regardless. I'm not gonna send you to Spag Union. You know what my grandpa always used to say? A man who never made a mistake, never made anything. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, you're supposed to make mistakes. The earlier, kind of the better, as well. I always think, like, if you're, if you have, like, one perfect relationship until you're, like, 40, then you make a mistake, then it's gonna be just so bad on the children and you. You need to be making mistakes all the time. Little cutie will continue. The son of cartoonist Bob- Oh, no! Looking forward to continuing little cutie's adventure- Another 50 years of cutie! <laughs> wow. Oh, this is the wrong vibe. All this for a sweet 16? No one cares about your 16th birthday here. Nobody cares. There is no chocolate fountain for the employees. You've managed to take my sweet 16 and make it all about you. So selfish. Listen, midgets. Midgets? So stay out of my eyeline. Comprende? I'm really looking forward to their performance. Are you? Oh, an exploding diaper. The song goes out to a very special little lady. Oh my god, look at the tank top. Whoa, Roderick. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, smash like project right now. We need to dazzle. We need to crank it up. Full diaper. Hit that button. Full diaper. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's like an injection of heroin. <laughs> that was happening. Why would that actually work on me? Like, you have to smash like if that would work on you. If he turned up for your birthday and started doing this, there's no way you're not marrying him. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just got diapered on, exploded. That should happen for like every exploded type of finale. The summer didn't go exactly as planned, but in the end, it all worked out okay. But is this the last one? Is there no more Bubby and Roderick? I don't think there is. And no Zooey Mamas, I knew there wouldn't be. So that does it for the last Diary of a Wimpy Kid film. And honestly, you know, it doesn't feel like a big ending or anything, but this film was very enjoyable. And if you did miss a favorite moment, you can actually watch the full movie along with me on my Patreon in the description below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.